Hey guys, this is Antonio here, and I'm reading another book to you guys. So, it is called SpongeBob SquarePants, You're Fired. So, let's get into it. You're fired. It was a busy day at the Krusty Krab, and SpongeBob loved every minute of it. He mopped the floors on the ceiling, washed the dishes, and cooked some Krabby Patties. There's nothing better than a perfect Krabby Patty served in a squeaky clean Krusty Krab. He declared, I love my job. Just then, Mr. Krabs stepped out of his office. Hi, Mr. Krabs. What's the good words for him? Asked. Well, there are two words, Mr. Krabs replied, and they're not very good. You're fired. W w what? SpongeBob sputtered. If I cut your jaw, Mr. Krabs ex explained, I can save a whole nickel. SpongeBob was so shocked he couldn't move. Squidward loaded him onto a cart and rolled him out the door. Bye bye, Squidward said. Please visit soon as a customer. That night, Patrick called moaning coming from SpongeBob's house. He stopped by to see what was wrong. It's terrible, SpongeBob cried. I got f f f f. Did you get free French fries? Patrick asked. A frothy frape? No, Patrick. I got fired. SpongeBob wailed. Don't worry, Patrick said. Starting tomorrow, I'll teach you the wonders of fun employment. SpongeBob and Patrick started their day by standing in Squidward's garden and waving at him. Sp Stay off my patuna, Squidward yelled, throwing vegetables. Splat, splat. I call this free breakfast, said Patrick, licking the tomatoes off his face. Later that day, SpongeBob and Patrick went to Sandy's for free lunch. Little did they know, the food was really a science experiment with weird side effects. This is delicious, Patrick the Failer declared. More, more, demanded the little face that popped out of Patrick's forehead. Spongebob, you look terrible, Sandy exclaimed. She warned Spongebob not to eat the food. What you need is to clean up, get a routine, routine and find a new job. Spongebob knew Sandy was right. I'm ready, he shouted. I'm ready to find a new job. Spongebob thought he could get another job as a fry cook, so he went to the weenie hut. The manager hired him right away, but Spongebob didn't like the kitchen. They didn't use a grill to cook the hot dogs. They used a strength rolling machine. This is the right SpongeBob said to it himself. He grabbed a spatula and used it to dice a few cooked hot dogs and buns and made and made weeding patties. You fired, the manager said. Everywhere SpongeBob went, it was the same story. At the pizza pie hole they didn't like his pizza patties. At the taco sombrero, his burrito patties squirted beans everywhere. And he was kicked out of the wet noodle because his noodle patties were a mess. When SpongeBob got home, he was really depressed. I've been fired five times, he sighed. At least you still like my cooking game. Just then, there was a knock at the front door. SpongeBob opened the door to find two big men dressed as hot dogs. They shoved them into a giant bun and ran away with them. SpongeBob was taken to the weenie hut and chained to the hot dog cooker. The manager apologized for firing him, but that's all mustard on the bun now, right? What's important is that my customers love your weenie patties. Get to work. The manager ordered and marched out of the kitchen. Pst, whispered Pizza Pete, the manager of the pizza pie hole. I can get you out of here. He poured tomato sauce over SpongeBob's hands. And then they slipped out of the chains, but then he tied SpongeBob's wrist together with a garlic bread stick. You're coming to cook for me, Pizza Pete said. My customers can't get enough of your pizza patties. When SpongeBob got outside, he was grabbed by the manager of Wet Noodle. I'll take one fry cook to go, the manager shouted. They didn't get far before Senior Taco from Taco Sombrero snatched SpongeBob. All the managers wanted SpongeBob to work with him. They chased and clutched and pulled him. Help SpongeBob cry. Suddenly, a giant Krabby Patty came to the rescue. The big Krabby Patty carried SpongeBob across town to the Krusty Krab. Inside, SpongeBob discovered that Squidward was wearing the costume. We need you back, Squidward said. Lady, wait, laddie, I should have never let you go, cried Mr. Krabs. This place is a wreck without you. I'm hiring you back, SpongeBob. SpongeBob looked around. The tables were messy, smoke poured from the kitchen, and sauce dripped from the walls. My life has puppets again, he said with a sigh. While SpongeBob was busy working, he noticed something strange about the bathroom door. It's a pay toilet, Mr. Krabs explained. That's how I'm making up the nickels 
I lost by hiring you. You're worth it. SpongeBob had never been happier to be at work. The end. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this SpongeBob book called You're Fired. Um, so, leave a like and subscribe. Bye.